What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 96 of The Little Big Cast. We are four players trying to figure out that life game balance. In this episode, we go mobile. We take the show downtown to Fizz. Rachel becomes a workaholic. Robin realizes her offspring has become a slumlord. And Drew gives away the entire studio. It's episode 96 of The Little Big Cast. Welcome. What's up, everybody? Welcome. We made it all the way to episode 96. It's a different ambiance, if you could hear us on this episode, because we are live inside of Fizz. Yes. Fizz uh, drinks. Fizz drinks. I, I, I suppose many of our listeners probably don't know what Fizz yeah, is. It's it's a phenomenon so in it's, the Utah It's magic. Area. Robin, what would you consider the Like, How would you describe it? This is. An, I, I, would, I would call it um, a, a treat for your taste buds and in caffeinated drinks. There's, there you go. <laughs> I would call it a bar for Mormons. For non-drinkers, that's yeah. I, that's what I call it. <laughs> for no, high how many? schoolers. Yes, right? many high schoolers. Okay, because you can mix drinks, yes. but they're they're non-alcoholic drinks. So yes, it's like, okay. here is so a lime a ricky. Is that what you, no, what well, it's have? a lime ricky. You have a lime ricky? Yes. What did you get? I had a razzmatazz, which oh, was razz- Coke, yeah, raspberry, vanilla, and cream. I love that you got a little one, you got a medium one. And I got a monster one. Papa, yeah, well, yeah. What yeah. did you get, Drew? Mine is a pepper Okay. So it's yeah, like a pina colada. Yeah, but you're caffeine tolerance. Yes. Well, yes. It's it's a pina colada with, uh, you know, but, but it's Dr. Pepper. Okay. And it's one of my favorites. The other one of my favorites is they have one called the Root Beer Fizz. And it is really cool, creamy root beer. Mm, delicious. I do love, I love, I love good creamy root delicious. beer. Delicious. So thanks, Fizz, for letting us hang out here tonight. Uh, again, it's going to sound a little different, but. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's yeah. Okay. We'll, yeah eat our, we'll eat our mics and you'll be fine. Be fine. We're here to entertain. So, and get uh, caffeinated. Let's what did you guys do for lives this week? Rachel first. Uh, yeah. I'm working. I've been transitioning. It's the end of the month. So, like, I don't know, these, like, desk jobs, the end of the month when everything's due and before all the clocks roll over again. Oh, so that's what I've been doing. It's just lots of that stuff. Um, so working. I haven't had a lot of time to game. What? I know. I've been playing lots of Game Boy DS with Leon. We've been playing Donkey Kong Country Returns. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, my, my gosh. All the yes. memories are coming back. On my 3DS, so that one's been fun. And that's a co-op, too, so we're able to, to download and play. So that's fun, and that's pretty much it. I wish I had more time to sit down and play Uncharted, but honestly, I've just been so busy. You're down to, like, what, what are we at? 13 days. Yeah. 13 Ooh. days, and it comes. Unless they push oh. it back. They won't push it back. Well, it's already out there. I don't think at this point. Maybe I'm going to have to side with Jeff for once and say that maybe it's actually going to come. It's think actually going to be here. I think it's going to come? Soon. Oh, I, that's, a, that's fantastic. We'll see. Crossing fingers. Yep. I'm, I'm excited that you got to play some games, even if it was just Donkey Kong. A little it's bit. Still, a little it's bit. satisfactory. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Whenever I come home, <laughs> whenever, whenever we come home from the bar or something, I'm always like, let's play Donkey Kong. And <laughs> <it's> just, <laughs> Pass out. <laughs> I'm going to kick your ass. ass. Let's play Donkey Kong. Oh, okay. And then I'm out. And then I wake up and I'm like, oh, I never got to play. I never even got <laughs> <laughs> We never played. So, yeah. That's what I've been up to. What about you guys? Sweet. Um, I have been doing a lot of grading now. Yeah. Because now it's the end of the yeah. semester. Yeah. Your turn. I know. Yeah, yeah exactly it's exactly how it it's goes funny because too. all the students are like, oh, it's finals week. This is so stressful. And I'm just like, you know, my actual finals week hits, it, it hits about like two days after everyone else's yep. finals week. Yep. Because then we start getting all the stuff in. And I so keep- I've been doing a lot of that and doing a little bit of gaming on uh, Layla's newly found, refound. Uh, DS. Nice. So, so yay! I'll we'll need to exchange friend codes again because I yes. lost mine. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, Layla had lost hers for a pretty long time, and can I ask where it was found? Yes, it was Couch found. Cushion. No, it was it was in a, a random shelf in a bag. It was oh. in the most random place. Like she didn't put it there. I think we did like a massive cleanup, and it just landed. It just, wow. But. Wow. But anyhow, the funny story is that she's had a lot of time to clean up her town. Because, nice. you know, when you, when you leave it for a long time, she's had time. But she didn't because she wants to work on her house. Oh. So basically, my child is a slumlord. Wow. 
There are weeds everywhere. Wow. There are holes in the ground where That's there shouldn't the be. There is trash. What? Like actual trash, because whenever the inventory is full, she just drops another thing that she doesn't want to keep. She's like, "Oh, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just dig a hole and stick it in here." And and it's, and it's funny because she's she really is a slumlord. And you go into the oh, house, really, and it's pristine. Like her little Animal Crossing house. The house is fine. Is it's like a mansion, and. And she, I asked her, like, aren't you going to take care of the town and the townspeople? Because they're going to leave if they don't like it. And she's like, oh, th- they'll be fine. And I'm like, honey, your townspeople <laughs> are revolting. The riots are going to come and raise your house. You are the mayor. <laughs> you have to- that's funny. You're so, really funny. So, yeah, it's funny. Like, uh, you're, I'm kind of seeing, like, shades of Donald Trump in my child. Oh, boy. So, <laughs> oh, boy. It's like, oh, the, the other people, they're fine. <laughs> We uh my my house like my actual house not my Animal Crossing house because I don't have one but my real house that I pay money for has the whole outside with weeds and I haven't mowed it yet at all this spring and the snow's been gone for probably three or four or five weeks so I have those nasty patches of like crab grass that oh, just me, go higher yeah. than anything and the rest of the grass is still kind of coming back but everything else is just I just haven't had time. No one inside, does. Though, inside is pretty clean. Yes. Inside is pretty clean but the front yard backyard it is oh it's bad in fact. It's, yeah, I'm one of those guys that like walk through uh, the neighborhood and see one dandelion on some guy's lawn and be like, oh man, why didn't he just pull it? Why doesn't he just get it? And get back to my house and I don't even look to the side to see like the field of dandelions. And I'm like, <laughs> no, nothing. That's not mine. That's no, that's no worries. Oh, I live next door. I'm, I'm glad. Uh, Jeff, however, I, I, you probably noticed by now, Jeff's not with us. Yeah, because otherwise our camera angle would be like way higher. That's true. <laughs> that's true. We'd ha- that's, I think we're already framed for a Jeff level. Like we've got an extra yeah. headroom there. But he did say that he thought you were talking about rating instead of grading. Like you spent some time rating. Oh not grading. No. <laughs> no, 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 sorry. So I'm, I'm. I wish I was. But at least he's, at least he's joined us here. Yes. Oh, and um, there we go. You're supposed to be power. You're supposed to be plugging in over there. We're just gonna go black for a while. Our audio was still going, so we no, still keep okay. going. Um. Just make sure you're powered up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Connected all the way through. It shouldn't even need. No, but the other um, the other thing that I found out is that Ratchet and Clank is so freaking fun. Did yeah. you play like, Ratchet and Clank? I've played a little bit of Ratchet and Clank, but it's I, uh, it's been fully entertaining. I need to share play or something. Childish? Is it? No. Oh, okay. That was a big fear. I, that was my my big worry. I'm like, oh man, I'm just buying this for Layla on this. But I mean, I enjoyed the original. But I was like, oh well, this was you know like back in my youth. But I, like I'm playing it, and I'm like I'm gonna get the Groovatron. Ooh, <laughs> yes. And it's so funny because each one of the little monsters, when the Groovatron hits, they dance different. They're like dance, just, they groove differently. I would like I, I'm tempted. Like I want I want to play, but it's it's, it's funny. That's money. It's it's money. money. Mine, might, it'll probably money. be down the road. Or do you think that maybe ever it might ever be the uh, like a PlayStation game? I don't think it no, would. It's too big for this, right? I think it's too big. I think that the only the only way it would be is if we wait for like three years. Oh. So. Yeah. Now I'm not gonna wait that long. I'm gonna figure that out. Mr. Happy. All right. So so producer. Don't worry. We're bringing it back. Wait, wait, Happy. We're gonna come back up. Oh, sorry. I didn't. Even, did I not get back? Hold on. Let me see if I get back. We're gonna get our picture back. Um, our our intern is not passing at all. Like this semester, she is not going to pass this semester. There we are. We fired. Be She's fired. So the yeah, video should be back in just a second. Have I? So yes, um, they did. I'm going to I'm gonna throw them under the bus. They had, they had plugged the, the power cord. I don't know which one of the three did it. So it could be anybody. Like, well, well <laughs> it was Glenn. It was Scott. Put the power cord Alicia. into the headphone they did jack. It together. Right there. So it was conspiracy. We should be good now. Let's you carry on with the rest of the show. So who do we, so to recap to this point, not a whole lot of not a whole lot of gaming, a lot of no, lifing, but much. some Donkey Konging, so much. or at least you want to Donkey like, Kong. I'm but at the you point in my life where I'm staying up late doing work. Oh wow! Wow! wow. Isn't that responsibility? Like, I have to go home today and write stuff. <gasps> because you didn't, I thought. Well, because it's work from home Wednesday. Because it's work from home Wednesday. Well, I mean, well. I, I've been going in because I'm an overachiever. So. Oh, Good but girl. you're still writing more even after. That's called exploitation. Yeah, way too much. Like that's child labor law. They should. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Abuse. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then you you played uh, Ratchet and Clank, had some fun, found uh, the DS. Yes. Your Ratchet daughter's a slumlord. Yes. Okay. All right, yes. we're caught up. Um, I'll, I'll cap it off then. I have done the same thing with grading. Like, like you said, finals. The biggest thing that I've done all week 
is we had to move out of the studio. That's why we're down here live at Fizz, yeah. which is great because I usually don't get this when we're doing a live show. Like this, this makes me happy. Uh, if Jeff There's were here, he'd have Red Bulls with all of his stuff mixed Seriously. in. I'm sure. There is a specific reason that we chose yes. Fizz. Yes, mm -hmm. I love the drinks at Fizz. If you're anywhere in Utah, get yourself mixed drinks. Every day. D today's Double Punch Wednesday, so I'm going to make sure everybody gets a little <laughs> punch card. Like it's, it's a big deal. I've already had one today. So, um, yeah, biggest thing that this week was we had to move out of the library where the studio was. And so not only the studio and all the lights and sets have to come down, cameras have to come down, TriCaster and the whole studio all that, that I've been, like, laying cables out every, you know, all year, like six years I've been knew, adding. Oh, my gosh. There's more to what you see. Oh yeah, it was way, way. way. And, I, and I dropped it all and tucked it into boxes and put it underneath. And uh, kind of tuck it under the bed. What's that? Tuck it under the bed. Tuck it under the bed. It's yeah. exactly kind of what it is. It's all under the bed. Uh, we had to clear out a newsroom which had like 11 or no, about 14 IMAX. Uh, which, all of the, the furniture that goes with that. And then next is my office. Like I still haven't done my office and I have two days left plus all the grading. But I did stop and, and I did some grading today. I think I got like three papers out of 34 good start right it's good just yeah. set them all on fire my personal favorite is the emails from right? like so uh, when are you gonna post that grade and right? like when I freaking feel I like it I have till Tuesday I have till Tuesday you can graduate without me it's like and just for that I'm That's gonna right. wait until you, the very you, you end to post end. yours <laughs> there are those that are a little a little buggy they're a little pestery and you just kinda I had there's some today that I'd put in grades for other things and I'd get the email right away. Yep. I noticed that I only got half points on that one. Can you tell me Aww. why? Or this one, this was great. I had somebody today. I hope, yeah, I think if I'm vague enough, right, nobody can call me out on that. No, you're fine. But I had somebody email me that said, like, oh, I'm usually a really good student. I have a 4.0. If, if I get an A in your class, I'm going to be a 4.0. But I just realized that I missed, you know, this half of each assignment for the last three. And they're tiny. They're like 10 points. But she missed like three weeks in a row of a discussion responses. It's an That's online thing. class. It's so easy. And, and she has an excuse, right? It didn't, it didn't pop up on my, my thing. It wasn't, there's no deadline for it. And I was like. Don't care. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. You're a big girl. Put it in your own little calendar. Don't rely on the Canvas calendar for you. So anyway, if I, if I screw up her 4.0, I will laugh. I think I was, like, I'm sorry. I hope <laughs> you aren't screwing it up is the thing. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be. Although I will say, I have a little piece of my heart that feels because in my grad, my grad years, I did straight A's, had a 4.0 until the last class, where my thesis committee chair, for some reason, decided to give me a A minus. <gasps> and then it went to like a 3.9 something, and I was like, Aww. damn it! How could you do that? You knew what I was. Ha you knew. What I was anyway, <laughs> it's all good. I, I'm okay now. <laughs> uh, gaming. I did game too. I did game too. I do game. I do game. What else did I game? I, we did Dragon Age. Wife and I picked up dra Dragon nice. Age. Nice. And it's been fun. We talked about it a little bit last week yeah. how it's different, but we, it, it keeps me happy that she keeps saying, like, yeah, let's get back into it. Let's play. Let's do this. And so that has been really good. And then tonight, today, or was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. King's Quest Chapter 3. Oh, came snap. Out. And there I kept go. trying to get the girls together and get all their jobs done and all the showering done so that we could spend some time playing King's Quest 3. Finally got them together tonight. Logged in. I thought I I downloaded the update. Oh, and then but the it, update only oh. the update is like this big, and it says, you know, like twist the lock that you can then go download the chapter. Right. So as soon as we all got sat down, it was like 30 minutes from now your game will be downloaded, and I was like, like no. I'm gonna leave in 30 minutes, girls. I'm so so I left right them. Now. I left them without letting them without playing. So I felt bad about that. But I'll play King's Quest 3, and I think that's my gaming life. There you go. Lovely. All right, let's jump into some news now since we're, we have limited time here. We are squatting at, at Fizz and drinking all kinds of delicious drinks, but we have limited time. So here goes with the news. <laughs> Number one, and this one I think we all have been aware of, and if you've been, if you've been listening at all to the, to the Twitter world, you know this. Uncharted 4 was stolen. <laughs> like, we're waiting like 13 days from now. We're like, yay, we're going to play, and, and Drake might not survive. Like, it's kind of this, Whoa! But I'm so worried that I'm going to get spoilers because um, that people have, have gotten uh, stolen copies somewhere in the UK while they were in transit. and They lifted, they lifted. a thief's end. That's cool. Can we That's just really, think about like, that? Yeah, it's yeah. it's a thief's all, end and oh it got stolen. I hope it was intentional, right? I hope it was somebody that knew what they were getting. I hope this is a prank. I just hope it was, yeah, right? A prank would be very mm -hmm. cool. Uh, so, uh, this is all a marketing ploy. <laughs> Shuhei Yoshida noted on the PlayStation blog that somebody had stolen the copies of Uncharted 4 in the UK while they were in transit. 
An extremely talented team has been working long and hard to bring Nathan Drake's greatest adventure to life, and we, could, we would urge you to help us prevent this from being spoiled by not purchasing copies of the game ahead of the launch date, he pleaded. Please rest assured that we will be very vigilant and protect you from this as far as you can so you can enjoy the experience to its fullest. Long story short, don't let a, tro a troll ruin your gaming. So, Man. I'm worried. Their I'm social worried. media team has got to be killing themselves trying to filter out right. whatever's going on. Because we know that this is a big, giant, like... This is the game. game. Like, we've talked about, like, this... What if... You know, I, how, I don't want to spoil that. I don't want to ruin that. So, what are, what are your strategies? What's your strategy for not being spoiled? Uh, I need I some. Have faith. Just faith in, in Gamer, gamer I don't know. Kingdom? I still haven't played all the Uncharted games, and I don't know what happens in the third one. So I think, but we'll see. Uh, my, my strategy is to just stay off social media for a little bit. 13 days of not getting 13 days. I mean, no, I can no do it. I can go no on. It, it is, I think it's a totally worthy cause to not mess with that. It's almost like Game of Thrones and oh, right, like Walking right. Dead. Star Wars. It's, it's like, I'm just, I'm, I'm out. I watched, I watched uh, Game of Thrones, but it wasn't a teaser. Is this a spoiler if I talk about the lady in her necklace? Uh, no. I know nothing about it other than yeah, Melis Andre. I saw an article that showed a woman in a tub and she wasn't wearing a choker and that was like a big deal so I read more of the article I was like what? Yeah. I don't follow Game of Thrones like that's not my I never have Yeah. but I clicked on a link to see like what? what is this what are they talking about it's like oh hold it was just a chick in a tub I was like whoa if I was in Utah I would be in, I'd be fined and in prison right now yes for $100 <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a different sarcasm total yes, sarcasm sorry. but yes ah uh, yeah okay news number two you ready this one is is uh, kind of interesting, good Call of Duty, which we're not CODers, but no. they are there. There are tons of them. The the word on the street is that the greatest game of the Call of Duty franchise, Modern Warfare, is going to get all gillied up for PlayStation Four. That's kind of cool. That's interesting. For those people, they would, right? That they, they, they would do a remake just for PS Four. Right, remaster it, make it pretty. But it's but you think about it, you got this franchise, people, and they they kick those out often, right? Once a year. I need At a least. burp button. <laughs> need like, not more, yeah. But yeah. that's kind of, would it not be easier than to remaster the favorite one mm -hmm. for the next gen rather than like redevelop another? It'd be almost like, hey guys, if we put like, I don't know, not the numbers, like $100,000 in man hours into this, we yeah. can net another couple million. I vote for that. You know, that's, I don't yeah. know, that's my thought there. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. We just have to remaster it. <laughs> that, right there. Boom. Uh, it says those who purchase the new game's Legacy Edition will get Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare remastered as a bonus. So Fancy. Get it and play it again. Sweet. Okay, other news, and we're, we're going to wrap it up with this little bit of news, but this is the beginning of May is right around the corner, which blows my mind, but still. It's going to be May. New PlayStation Plus games. So PlayStation <laughs> Plus subscribers, you're going to get, what are your games? A Dictator Sim Tropico 5 and a Combat Racer Tabletop Racing. Have you played Tabletop Racing? No, I've not played Tabletop through. Racing. Uh, it's from a studio that's run by Nick Bercombe, the co-creator of Wipeout. Then there's Switch Galaxy Ultra. It's down for the Vita and the PS4. God of War, uh, Ghost of Sparta is up for the PSP and the Vita. So there's there are those, and those are available on the 3rd of May. So that's a good, that'll be some good fun games. I'm actually kind of interested to see this Tabletop Racing game. That's kind of cute. Not going to lie. Tropical 5 is probably like, I could be my own slumlord. Like, it sounds yes. like a nice sim game. Maybe I could do something with that. PS3 owners get Bionic Commando Rearmed 2 and Loco Roco Coco Rico. What? Does Loco Roco. Coco 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 So that's three times fast. Yeah, the Loco Roco Coco Coco Coco. Did you have to roll the R so was that part of Loco Roco and the Coco Rico. Uh Switch Galaxy, yeah, those would be good. Those are good. I'm actually kind of interested in this Tropico 5 and the uh, and the uh, tabletop racing. I, think I need something to veg out on, right? That's like yeah. bubble bubble. I need something to do that every once in a while. But that, my friends, is the news. So, for April 27th, for PlayStation 4, our new releases are Alienation, Arca Arcade Archives Kids. I'm sorry, what was that? Horror? Horror. Horror. Horror Dite. Desikusin. <laughs> I have no idea. Would you play? Battle Worlds Kronos. I'm Googling Horror. Brick Breaker. Don Bradman. Kick Cricket. Jetpack Joyride. The Magic Circle Gold Edition. Neo. Party Hard. Severed. And Tales from the Borderlands. Um, for the Vita, we have Rocket Birds 2. 
Stranger of Sword City and the Sun and Moon. The That's sun? tough. Why do they make those tongue twisters? I don't understand. No. I'm really interested in kids horror horror daisakusen. Daisakusen. I, I want to know, but don't. Typing whore whore into Google doesn't help anybody. Like that's, that's, there's nothing that comes yeah. up for that. Anything else you guys are looking at there? Nope. Tales from the Borderlands, is that just a new, a new chapter? PS4? No, I think it's maybe be the, I think it's the physical release. Oh. Because they've completed all the chapters. Yeah, I was going to say, the season was out, right? Okay. The Magic Circle Gold Edition Jet, Jetpack Joyride's been out for a okay, while. Okay, Magic Circle is. looks really interesting. Oh, it's a, it's an indie game. Um... The basic idea is, okay, so the magic circle from Johan uh, Huizinga, like the very first oh, video game yeah. theorist, uh-huh. or game theorist, um, the whole idea is that you are trapped inside of a video game, but you can like listen in on what your three video game creators are talking about, oh. and they're so indecisive, they can't figure out how to give you any powers. Oh. They're just like, no, nah, maybe this, maybe that. And so, like, you're trapped in this magic circle where, like, the rules don't apply as far as physical life goes. But just like a game, the magic circle exists. It's a space that is away from reality. Interesting. So I looked at the description, like, oh, this is really interesting. It's kind of cheap. It's only, like, a gig hmm. on the PlayStation. So right, not too bad. So you're gonna pick it up, or I don't know. I'm I'm gonna get my grading done and then see where I'm sitting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, real quick before we wrap up the whole show, we watched the the latest trailer for Outlast Two, and I quickly sent it to everybody and said, "You're on your own," because it <laughs> scared me so much. Good luck. What are your thoughts on that? The running through the corn for, field, the hiding in the what's what scary the water trough, like right? The only way that I'm going to play that. Is if it's with a big group. With a group, I think that's the same here. I can't. Here. So when I can't. do we have a release date on that? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. When it comes, I think we'll do an LBK scare group. Oh, we will. I'll be upstairs switching. You guys can hide downstairs <laughs> in the Suck. haunted dungeon. If it's a summer, we'll have to do it at somebody's house. But if it's if the studio's back up. Yeah, I'll I'll just be sitting in the corner rocking back and forth. Rocking, yeah, because that's I'm quite. Afraid. Yeah, that clown mask from Until Dawn still gets me. Oh yes. Oh the clowns. If you want to entertain right. and, and, and uh, share your fun with Robin, don't send her. I mean, yes, send her clown, no clown pictures. Is that no it? clown pictures. No clown pictures. At Robin Hazlett on Twitter. No clown You're, pictures. Mm. <laughs> don't do it. Glenn's the worst. <laughs> Glenn will do that on occasion. He'll send clown pictures all the time. So that huh? is going to wrap it up for episode 96. Thanks for joining us, everybody. That We are here at like, the very last minute, so we're going to take the last 60 seconds and pack up our gear and get out of here so they can close. But shout out to Fizz. Thanks for having us for a nice live show. It was enjoyable. Thanks for people in the chat for joining us. As always, you can find me at Night20 on Twitters and Twitch. Miss Robin Hazlett. At Robin Hazlett on Twitch or Twitch, mer, Twitter, and uh, Lil352 on PSN. I am Pyro Rachel with a 3 and 7 E on Twitter and same thing on Twitch. So, cool beans. Cool beans. And you can find us all at Little Big Cast and at Jeff Hawks is uh, not here with us, but Marox. Mar- Marox on the, on the uh, <laughs> PlayStation. And always, you can support us if you go to patreon.com slash littlebigcast. We're always looking for something to throw us a couple of pennies just to help us with hosting fees that keep coming up and our social media and some other things that we, we, we spend we spend a lot of money. Yeah. And we'd like to get some more gear. And now that we have no studio, even that would be nice. And now we're mobile. So we really do appreciate <laughs> all those that support. We have some awesome Patreons that have really helped us get to this point and, and have uh, supported us. We appreciate that a lot. So with that, ta-da, tutu, and... Bye-bye. Farewell.